All right, what's up everyone? Sean here, and this is uh, another episode of The Wash. And today, yeah, we're gonna bring back the old uh, BMW. I, it's basically my sister's boyfriend's car, and it needs another wash. So, uh, the, this is not, not my first time washing it. Basically, I um, did a wash before. Lost the footage for that, unfortunately. But it's here, back again. And we're gonna wash it again. So hopefully we get it right this time and we can get it going. All right, so basically what we're gonna do for the BMW today is uh, what we call a hybrid wash. What that means is we're gonna use also, or not only a, a foaming shampoo, like uh, it could be anything like Incredible Sludge, uh, Cherry Foam from Superior Products, you name it. And then we rinse it off and then we do a rinseless wash. After that, we put the rinseless wash on and then we put the, do the contact wash, hence using both kinds of cleaners in that one cleaning system. For the, for the BMW, just because I have so much um, shampoo laying in the garage, I thought, why, why don't I start using that stuff and incorporate it into my wash, you know? And also get use out of these uh, IK uh, sprayers. You know, they're kind of like old faces and I haven't used them because of the detail keg. So why, why not bring them out again and uh, get them to exercise? So, it's already pumped up with this uh, tire pump right here. Here we go. This baby really helps out with the IK foam setup here. We had two gallons in here. Now it's just about, uh, actually we used two liters, about just under two liters. So it looks like about half a gallon. So all that is about half a gallon. Pretty efficient, right? I like this. Uh, Sometimes over the foam, uh, the foam cannon, even though foam cannon is very fun, this is a lot more efficient in my opinion. But it's all preference anyway, so it's really up to you of how you want to do things. So let's let that dwell for about eh, two minutes. And then we can get uh, the rinsing, all that stuff going.
All right, time to rinse off. Let's go with the comb. Let's go with the shower. I, there's all like I don't know. I always uh, default to the shower. It's just something about it. I do notice some dead spots. Uh, I did put protection on last time, which is just the graphene flex wax from Turtle Wax. Not bad, all things considered. Uh, it's been several months actually, and it still is holding up um, very decently. You know, the side panels obviously are a little more dead, but we can just do the um, the spray and wipe dry method. <laughs> uh, so now we can just immediately hit it with the. Rinses wash in here. This is actually just version one rinses wash from uh, DIY Detail, which still works great. But we do have version two in the bucket, so the lubrication will take care of that, if anything, uh, if, it, if it really needed it. But anyway, now it's for the rinses wash. Got to turn it on.
something about the foaming action of DIY, DIY detail that I do really like. So it's kind of satisfying, you know? Like, you know you spread it on there. And um, some say it does give a little more of a cleaning action because it's foaming and the bubbles pop and that creates more action. That was my neighbor. <laughs> He definitely knows about my car washing slash detailing craze. I can definitely feel that it needs also some deconning, but uh, time is not allowing me that for today. So we're just gonna do what we can, put on that protection just for the sake of it. That's really all we can do. Because I do also wanna wash my car as well. Make sure we get all of this area right here. The sponge is showing me very little um, thereafter, so it may be just like film or something. Very, very few particles in here, other than that one little speckle. But it definitely goes to show that it works, this hybrid system. Definitely, I think the next time we wash this car, we'll definitely, um, we can only hope that we have enough time to actually decon it. to the other side, that's what it's for, right? Let me 
make sure I got the actual mirror itself. bird bomb right there but may want to spray a little more with something else just to really soften it up but oh actually now it's coming off We'll finish it off with something else. Although this could be just, okay, never mind. Yeah, you just give it a little bit of a nudge. There we go. I love these grills, right? That's what the brush is there for to help with that. And then a little bit of this. Doing the contact wash. Yes, yeah, for reference, it is almost seven o'clock. Good old friend, Flex Wax. We're going to uh, wax and dry. Get that going. And I'm gonna pretty much almost do the same thing to my car. Minus the flex wax, because my car is already ceramic coated. This one off. Oh, that's inside the window. <laughs> you 
interesting way to end my vacation since my two-week vacation is just about up and then tomorrow as I record this I go go back to work yeah it's been a good break I definitely needed it I mostly stayed at home but one day I uh, went to the beach and walked by their little beach stroll it was uh, definitely something that's very good at least once in a while Oh, there it goes. A little clog on the nozzle. But there we go. But um, most of the week, yeah, or most of the vacation, I just relaxed. Caught up on some uh, One Piece anime. Watched uh, the, <clears throat> the season finale of The Boys, season four. Good stuff. Nice two-week vacation. Uh, definitely my first time. I never had an actual official vacation. I just took some time off here and there, but but paid two-week vacation. It's pretty nice.
always did not like to spray on this turtle wax bottle. Like it only works for like a little bit and then just stops spraying a nice mist. It kind of just squirts, <laughs> you know? Even after the fact, I um, unclogged it. Yeah, see that sprayed fine that time. Look at this baby now. The paint is pretty immaculate. Sorry about the little fog on my lens, but look at that. There we go. Hopefully I got it off. Uh, sorry about the before and after or their lack of i was a little too excited about the hybrid system so <laughs> uh so there you go but yeah uh we're gonna work on the wheels and tires a little bit and uh we'll go on to the next car hopefully so So it's time from my car. So we got some lovely gifts from the birds once again. Again, anyway. <laughs> um, yep, so dust on the roof, bird poo on the window, bird poo on the hood, you know, the usual stuff. It's been about, let's see, it's right at the end of July now, so um two months it's two months on the eight year diy detail ceramic coating and we are going to do the same thing here in one day we still have the bmw just parked right here <laughs> all in one shoot kind of but anyway you get the point we're gonna do the hyper system and uh we'll get it going again
So yep, I pretty much did two cars in just about two hours, give or take. We'll have to take, check the tape on that. But it goes to show that the hybrid wash works pretty well if done right, of course. I uh, did a bit of a blunder by <laughs> putting on the, the foaming shampoo once more. So wasted a little bit of product there. But the fact that we were able to use two gallons of each product and still have enough left, even after the mistake, kind of goes to show off how efficient that system is. With the two um, IK uh, sprayers, the pros, um, sprayer pro 12s or whatever you call it those big ones <laughs> so so there you have it uh, I know it's dark already but um, just the fact that we were able to do this for the most part is very satisfying <clears throat> Now we do the wheels and tires to dry them off. That's all she wrote, so. So yeah, give it a try. Um, do you need the exact items? Uh, not so much. You have any sprayer. Um, it could be like one of those garden sprayers. You just spray with the uh, foam shampoo. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily foam a whole lot. You just have to get it on there, let it dwell. Respray if you have to, but. Um, once that's done, spray it off, and then um, once that's done, spray it off, rinse it off, and then put on the rinseless wash with whatever spray you have, and then go at it with the contact wash. So that's uh, really all you need, and of course towels, and that will definitely get the job done. So. Again, the BMW is stuck over there in the dark now. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some tire dressing for that car real quick. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna call it. Thank you very much for this wash. I uh, hope you guys found it some, uh, somewhat informative <laughs> to some extent. It just goes to show that um, there is a pretty uh, efficient, fun, and um, satisfying system for cut washing your car. And that's the hybrid system. Shampoo and the rinseless wash. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Sean out.